The typical homeless person is dirty, drunk, and addicted to drugs. No wonder our natural reaction is to look away. But the fact is, more than 2,000 children are homeless in Seminole County tonight. The fastest growing segment of the homeless population is families with children. Unfortunately, the most vulnerable are our children, and they are the silent victims. You've seen them. Homelessness is an issue we can't ignore. I'm the mom you see in the grocery store, trying to decide whether to buy my baby's food or diapers. I'm the girl you see walking to school that went to bed hungry last night. I'm the girl that goes into the fast food restaurant before school to wash. We are the family you saw walking down the street, pushing our infant in a stroller, not knowing where we will sleep tonight. I'm the little girl with my mom and my brother you see walking down the street and everything that we own is in a backpack that's on my mom's back. I'm the woman that sits across from you at the office that tonight will sleep with her five-year-old child in the car in fear of the emotional and physical abuse that she will receive if she goes home. Don't just look away. Those are the faces of homelessness. We work with families through a model called Family Team Conferencing, which really builds on the strength of the family. In Family Team Conferences, we sit together with the family and the people they trust to help them develop a plan to reach their goals. Before I came into Pathways and I, I was pregnant and I had my son and my husband was trying to do what he could to provide, um, it was hard because we didn't know what we were going to be like in the next week or the next month or how we were going to pay the next bill. Uh, family does not want to step in all the time and help. You try and it just doesn't pan out the way you think it's going to. You never think that you're going to be in the position that you're in. You always think that there's something out there that's going to you know, just come your way and it doesn't. Um, it's kind of scary to think of where, you know, we were going to go or where we would have been had Pathways not come and stepped in and kind of definitely changed our lives. My, I was actually like underweight when going um, through the relationship, the tumultuous relationship with my son's father and now, I, obviously, I'm not underweight anymore. I'm healthy. My son has stability. And I've said it before that every child needs stability to thrive on. And like people at his aftercare in school, they come up to me and they say, you know, he's so compassionate. And I know that, you know, without programs like Pathways, that I'd probably still be struggling. My son wouldn't have the opportunities he has now. And uh, he's just, I was, I, on my first Mother's Day with him, I was gonna commit suicide because my mom died like a week before Mother's Day. And Pathways to Home was created because of the rise of the number of families with children that were being affected by the economics uh, happening within our community. The impact of the economic downturn actually affected our most precious resource, which is our children. When Pathways to Home had started to help us, um, they had paid for us to stay in a hotel. Um, when we finally found a house that was perfect for us, they had paid for our rents, our um, security deposit, uh, they paid for the deposits to turn on our power, our water, and then they paid the, the rent, power, and water bills until, you know, we were able to get, um, you know, a little more financially stable into jobs. Our program works through collaboration, through empowerment of families and children, through community engagement and financial support, and with the belief that we can make a difference. God used Pathways to Home to be a vessel to help me in my life. And, and I hope that they continue to get support so they can help families like my son and myself. Because, like I said, I sit in class and I envision helping out just like they've helped me. And Florida needs that. And 
the world needs it. We know the program works because every day we see families increasing their income, maintaining stable housing, able to meet the challenges in their lives. And we see children able to sleep in their own beds, and we know that they've made it home. And if it wasn't for Pathways to Home, we wouldn't have our home today. Never get tired of doing those little things for others, because those little things are what occupy the biggest part of our hearts. Because of Pathways to Home, I'm a stronger mother, woman, friend, individual. We need you to join us to help families in Pathways to Home. We can do this together, one family at a time.